right, well, Patrick has a question for you. Patrick, first of all, have you decided who you're voting for on Tuesday? I'm swayed Trump, but I'm... I'm here today to figure that out. Good. All right. Well, Your question. So you're close. Uh, one, I'm a criminal justice major here at UWM. Good. And I'm a proud brother of a police officer in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Joe Meath. Good. Um, my question today for you, Mr. Trump. America seems to be caught in the middle of a political storm with passions flaring from coast to coast. But I think one thing we can all agree on is the safety of every American, both ab abroad and at home. On August 19th, 2014, an American journalist named James Foley, a Mar Marquette grad in town, lost his life to the hand of evil. If you were to become president, what would you do to ensure the safety of everyone at home, everyone abroad, and those still missing, like Robert Levinson, right. who's been missing since 2007? With little Who known whereabouts. Who should come back with the Iran deal? I mean, assuming he's alive, and I'm sure I would have made that deal too. Right. It's one of the worst deals ever negotiated. And did you see Obama yesterday said he's very disappointed in Iran? You know, something to the effect. I said, where has he been? I could have told them that long before they signed the deal. One of the <laughs> dumbest deals I've ever seen. And he should have been a part of the deal. When they brought the prisoners back, they paid $150 billion. Those prisoners should have been back years ago before we ever started negotiating that very dumb deal. Uh, let me just tell you, James Foley, I know his parents very well. I've made a major contribution to the foundation in honor of James Foley. I know exactly what happened, and it's a disgrace that a thing like that's allowed to happen. We have to stop that. We have to stop it with, with ferocity. And it has to go back. We're dealing like in the medieval times. You know, when, when I was going to history class, when I was going to great schools like this, we'd study medieval times. And they talk about chopping off heads. Nobody's seen this before. This is like a new thing. James Foley seems to be the first in terms of so public where it was so horribly done. And people saw it. We're going to get it stopped. Now, remember this, uh, the Border Patrol. The, uh, if you look at Sheriff Joe from Arizona, the toughest, smartest people are supporting and endorsing Donald Trump. The toughest and the smartest. We've got to create strong borders. We've also got to fight them over there before they come over here, just so you understand. But coming over, number one, we're going to have strong borders. But we're going to have a very important thing. The Syrians coming in, the migration coming in, we have to stop it because we don't know who these people are. They're not documented. There's no documentation from any of them whatsoever. We don't know. Are they ISIS related? And thousands of them are coming in. And I predicted that. Thousands and thousands are coming in. We have no idea who many of these people are. So we've got to get strong. We've got to get smart. And we've got to be vigilant. And in honor of James Foley and others, we have to be very tough and wipe out what's happening, okay?